there's an overwhelming amount of games for kids to play on tablets, phones, and even the Nintendo Switch. As parents, we're constantly looking for games that can provide an educational value as well as entertainment. This year marks the 65th anniversary of the Smurfs, and Red Deer Games just released the Smurfs Learn and Play as the first of their two educational games in conjunction with this year's celebration. We appreciate Red Deer Games providing an early access code for review, and while you're at it, if you could review that subscribe and like button, we'd really appreciate it as well. I'm Craig with Out of Control Games, and this is a review of Smurfs Learn and Play. This game features several different gameplay modes. Hide and seek is where you'll find objects Where's Waldo style. Objects are spread out in each puzzle for you to find, and there's a certain number in each level. Something to keep in mind, if there are multiples, you'll be finding many varieties of that same item. There are 47 puzzles altogether, and every puzzle gives a short description of what's going on. Some of these were definitely challenging, and my wife and I needed to clean our glasses more than once. You can use both the touchscreen or controller. If you decide to use a controller, you'll select objects with the A button and you can zoom in and out using the triggers. In the clock gameplay variant, you're given a brief description of how to read an analog clock and learn how to tell time. This then proceeds with the story about a day in the life of the Smurfs. One thing we notice is that the time of day in the story was on the bottom of the screen. We really wish this would have been next to the clock on the top of the screen. Also, having voiceover in this game mode would have been extremely helpful, especially since we have a little reader in our family. But it did provide an opportunity for me as a parent to read to her. There is only one story to read from, and it would have been nice to see two or three more, and there is definitely an opportunity here to teach our kids how to read an analog clock versus a digital one. In ABC, your kids will get to practice writing both their letters and their numbers. When tracing uppercase, lowercase, and the numbers, you could use the touchscreen, which we highly recommend, or you have the option to press Y while moving the control stick. What we love is that every letter and number has a guide to help draw that particular letter or number properly. This is huge for a little learner that is struggling with writing any one of their letters or numbers. What we didn't like is that the joystick controls are super sensitive, so letters like B, C, and O were very difficult with Pro Controllers or Joy-Cons. However, it's super easy to do with the touchscreen. The matching game is pretty straightforward. Match the picture on the bottom to the shaded image on the top of the screen. You'll use the Y button or touch controls to select an image on the bottom of the screen and drag it to its matching shaded counterpart. Speed matching, you have four images to choose from and the goal is to match as many as you can in 60 seconds. This is great for helping your child's quick decision making as well as recognizing shapes and objects. You'll select each image with the dedicated button on the D-pad or arrow buttons. Something we thought was a missed opportunity is to have each image attached to a lettered button on the controller, either A, B, X, or Y. We thought this could allow for not only letter memorization, but also the memorization of buttons on a controller. Overall, when it comes to playing this, we definitely recommend play this in handheld. Holding Y while moving the left joystick didn't come as naturally as much of holding A would have. Playing in handheld with the touch controls is much more natural than using Joy-Cons or Pro Controller. We wish the controls stayed consistent, but again, touch controls are the best option. Maybe it's just our many years of experience with app games on our iPads, tablets, and our phones. On a side note, the directional pad does not work in every menu, but let's hope a patch fixes that. Now, when we look at the graphics of this game, you'll immediately notice it's based on the movies and the original cartoon. They looked great and popped on our TV, and weirdly, they work extremely well together. The music in this game is lively, and it's here. However, it did randomly stop at one point and just to load the next song. Kind of wish this would have been a little bit more consistent, but, you know, we're judging this based off experiences like Super Mario Odyssey and those other AAA titles. At the end of the day, this is a game designed for a younger audience, so we really can't put this on the same pedestal as a AAA title. The real win here is our six-year-old loved this game and asked to play it the next day and day after. As a parent, there's definitely value here. When comparing this game to many Apple App Store and Google Play Store options, this is something we'd definitely buy over those free options. Many times the free games have a hidden paywall behind them that can cost upwards to $50 in the $80 range just for the full experience. At $14.99, this is a definite win. Yes, we do wish there was voiceover with the words highlighted during the long text scenes, since there is a lot of reading involved. From the educational aspect, we feel like this really could have assisted with helping young and beginner readers. 
However, all of our critiques aside, we absolutely recommend buying this game if you're looking for an app-like experience for your kids on the Nintendo Switch. This is perfect if you have a Switch Lite or if they want to play in handheld mode. We appreciate you watching our review and let us know in the comments if you'll be downloading this game. As parents, we know life, work, and kids are out of control enough. Don't let your gaming be.